Hi, kindergarten friends. So last time that we had writer's workshop, we talked about that writers write to make the world better. We talked about how they can see a problem, how they can think about a solution, how they can three, write a lot, and how they can four, decide who needs to read it so that they can help convince them to be better. And we learned how to be like extra, extra, extra convincing. And we learned to tell your opinion, to tell a little story, to give lots of reasons, to give it a fix it idea, to be polite, and to include important information. I was just looking at this, and this is the, the poster I wrote the other day because remember, I saw a problem at my house, and I thought outside my apartment, and I thought, people need to clean up after their dogs because people keep stepping in it and it's gross and they need to clean up. And so I wrote this poster to help convince people that they should pick up after their dogs. And I want to remember how that, what I did here. So I'm going to reread it first because whenever we start writer's workshop, the first thing we need to do is go reread the stuff we're working on. Let's see. Please use this dog bag. Please clean up after your dog goes potty, I think it would be gross to step in. One day I saw my neighbor step in something and they were sad. I think they will be happy if others clean up. Thank you. So I was just thinking about this poster and I was thinking like if I go hang it up, it might kind of be hard to read because First of all, my handwriting is not very good. And second of all, like it doesn't really look like a poster. And third of all, I didn't even color it or anything. And I think some things were hard to read even just now when I tried to read it, I had to slow down because I forgot what I wrote. But I couldn't just remember what I wrote from the top of my head. I should be able to read it. That's why I have to make it easy to read. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I just need to, I need to get a new paper and I need to try again. So I'm going to try again, and this is something you can do too. Sometimes if you're working on something and you're like, no, this isn't good. This isn't what I want. I wanted to redo it. Sometimes you just fold up your paper, put it off to the side, and you just start over because you want to make your book yours. You're in charge of your own book. And sometimes we got to change things if we don't like them because we're the author. We're the writer, so we gotta change things up to make it how we like. So I'm gonna come back here so I can remember. I thought this paper was really good, so I'm gonna remember what they did. Oh, they wrote a lot and they do pictures and they even wrote who it's to. Okay, let me think about it. Hmm. Maybe I can make it into a letter instead and then like give it to people. I'm gonna start with Dear Neighbors. Neighbors, let's see, I just spell out neighbors. Let's see, neighbors, neighbors, na neighbors, neighbor, neighbors, neighbors, dear neighbors. Oh, wait a sec. I just remembered we need to have a vowel in every syllable. Let's see, neighbors. I think I need another vowel. Neighbors neighbors there we go neighbors okay dear neighbors hmm let's see let's check our chart because if we ever get stuck one thing we can do is check our chart and remember what do we need to do next it says tell your opinion okay i think everyone every one should should clean, clean up after their dog. Okay, let's see, what's my next step? I forgot. Oh, it says tell a little story. Oh, so I actually, let's see. Okay, I need to tell a little story. Oh yeah, I, I can just tell the story about when my neighbor stepped in it. One day, My neighbor, my neighbor's also my friend, so maybe I'll just write friend, friend. Oh, that's a snap word. So I can just 
I can just write it in a snap. My F R I E N D. Okay, one day my friend stepped in dog stuff. It was stinky, stinky and gross. It was stinky and gross. Um, it was also hard to clean. It was also hard to clean. Okay, let's check my chart and see what else do I need to do. Tell your opinion. Did it? Tell a little story. Check. Give lots of reasons. Oh, let's see. Did I give a lots of reasons? It was stinky and gross. It was hard to clean. Maybe I need another reason. Um, it made my friend sad. It made my friend sad. Okay, I gave a lot of reasons. Let's see. Give a fix-it idea. Okay, hmm. Oh, yeah. I said I could fix it by using trash bags. Maybe if everyone uses trash bags to clean up after their dog, it will fix the problem. Okay, let's see. So I did that. I gave it a fixed idea. Okay, be polite. Okay, let's see. I gotta be polite. Please clean up. Okay, let's see. And include important information. Oh, yeah, I need to say where they can find the dog bags. You can find um, bags by the side of the building um, with the green, it's a green sign, with the green sign. Okay, let's see. Did I give my opinion? Yes. I said, every, I think everyone should clean up after their dog. Did I tell a little story? Yes, I said, one day my friend stepped in dog stuff. It was stinky and gross. Did I give lots of reasons? Yes, I said it was stinky and gross. It was also hard to clean and it made my friend sad. Okay, let's see, did I give a fix that idea? Maybe if everyone uses trash bags to clean up after their dog, it will fix the problem. I did. Okay, let's see, did I be polite? Please clean up. Yes, I did. And did I include important information? Let's see. You can find bags by the side of the building with the green sign. I did. Okay, so I did all these things. So I guess all I need to do next is decide who it goes to, which I already did. It was my neighbors, and do some pictures. I'm going to say, from your neighbor. And now I just need to draw a picture on the other side so that people know exactly what it, to look for. So this is both, this is the, the green sign, the bag, here's a person, oh no, here's a dog, a dog going potty, and here's the person, and I'm gonna draw a picture of them going to get a dog bag. Yeah, they have a dog bag in their hand. And they're happy. And here's a picture of me watching them and being happy because there's, they cleaned up. And here's a picture of my neighbor who's happy because they cleaned up. And there's some grass. So I need to color this now. But look at my picture. Look at my writing. It looks so much better. I could have just did this first draft and then be like, I'm too tired, I give up, this is it, I'm done. But then people might have had a hard time reading it because I forgot to put vowels in every syllable and my picture is not very descriptive and my story is so short and I don't really give that many reasons. But 
I didn't do that. I didn't just get done here. I used persistence power and I kept writing this really, really long letter that you wrote with me just now. So I want you to think about what have you been working on and is there anything that you can make even better? Or is there something that you're like, you know what? This isn't even, why don't I even like this? I'm gonna crinkle it up and I'm gonna start over. So I want you to remember, every time you write a letter, you write a book, you write a sign, it is your writing. If you don't like it, then recycle it and go get a new paper and try again and start over and make it perfect. Make it just the way you want it, perfect for you. All right, before I leave you today, I'm gonna think of some more problems I could write about. That way, next writer's workshop, like I have some ideas of what I'm gonna do next time I go write. So I'm gonna write problems. And I'm gonna write some things. Hmm, let's see, what other problems could I write about and teach people how to fix? Um, some people don't like say their manner. Sometimes I just go to the grocery store and I like, I like, like, Try to, I like someone once someone asked me to get some bread and I got some bread on off the shelf and they didn't even say thank you they just walked away and it kind of hurt my feelings so I think maybe a problem is that people should say thank you I'm gonna say people should mm, say thank you remember this is just my brainstorm list so when I go oh oops thank you this is just my brainstorm list, so when I go actually write, I can choose something off this list. Let's see, what else is a problem? Mm, I think my sister watches too much TV, because she just sits there all day and just watches TV and watches TV and watches TV, and I think maybe her eyes are going to start hurting, because she's just watching TV so much that she needs to go outside and get some fresh air. So I'm going to write, my sister watches to much TV. Okay, let's see what else. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh, another thing is sometimes people like they they cook something and then they burn it because they go and do something else. Like my mom sometimes she cooks something and she goes and does something else and she forgets about it and then it gets burned. So I'm gonna write people need to like be careful. I'm gonna write be careful. Oh, one time there was, there was this, um, I was going on a walk and uh, my dog, like I have a dog at my house, at my other house and my dog started running away because the leash wasn't tight enough. And so I think that's a big problem. People could fix. I would say, um, check your dog's leash. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have any more? Oh, one time these two friends were like fighting over a toy and they just kept fighting over it but they weren't even sharing so i think maybe one problem is people don't share toys so maybe i should say share to don't uh don't share toys don't share toys when they should wow let's see one two three four Five. I have five books I could write now because I made this brainstorm list. So if you have some extra time right now for Writer's Workshop, you could go and edit and rewrite one of your stories. You could write a brand new story. And you could write down a list of all the problems you see that you think you could help fix. And then you could make sure to go fix them by using your words to make a change. Happy writing, have fun going to make a difference.